What is up guys, it's your boy Gonzo and welcome back to another video. Now, if you remember, I've actually done a autotune tutorial before. Now we're actually gonna go in depth and actually correct the vocals manually and we're gonna do it ourselves. Now, you might be asking yourself, how can you do it in a fell with like, you know, stock plugins? Well, there's this really nice plugin called Newtone. And if you're familiar with Melodyne, it's basically the same thing, but it's in FL. Now, just a heads up, after you're done with the vocals, you would normally just export it into the timeline. But since I do have the demo version of Newtone, I'll have to record it with Edison, just so I can actually use the vocals. But you'll see that in a minute. So, we need an instrumental. We need to know its key. Or if you want to just use like a melody that you've made, you gotta know the key so you could actually auto-tune the vocals first because basically what we're gonna do now is record our vocals using pitcher just so we can get an idea then we're gonna export the vocals raw without any auto-tune on it then we're gonna drag the vocals in new tone then we're gonna add another pitcher so we can actually know that we're in key and then we're gonna correct the vocals and then we're actually gonna use them if it makes sense now i'm gonna play you a song that i've already made and i'll basically record a humming or some backing vocals for it and then we're gonna correct it. So it sounds like this. On the fly, I spy, got them bitches like I'm wise. On the flies and the highs, got them hitters like I'm wise. I'm no menace, but I'm dire. I don't play with you like fire. I don't stand up because I'm higher. Got your bitch in my empire. You know, it's a good song in my opinion, but I feel like it needs some, some backing vocals, some, some melodic elements besides the instrumental. So that's what we're gonna do now. Although I'm gonna be using this mic to record the vocals because I'm recording the video with this mic, you won't be able to hear it while I'm recording it. So I'll be back in a minute. So I recorded the vocals. I send them into the timeline and they sound like this. Now they're not mixed. I didn't do anything to them and they sound kind of trash and now all we gotta do is fix it. Now, you might be asking yourself, why do we need Newtone in the first place when they're already auto-tuned? It's still not perfect when it comes to the pitch. I am by no means a good singer. Quite the opposite. So me not hitting the right notes is making the pitcher struggle to correct them. That's why we need Newtone so we can actually correct them manually and make sure that we're in key 100%. All I gotta do is disable the pitcher after I've sing them because it makes it easier to actually uh, use them all I gotta do is just like export this part I guess export it whatever you want them to be okay make sure that you've actually uh, muted the instrumental not like I did so it seems like I completely forgot to tell you about a uh, new tone so open it in the first place uh, okay let's continue so now drag the actual good file in we're gonna add a picture with our key which for me is D minor just so we can get an idea if it's actually corrected or not oh, whoa. as you can hear it's actually struggling to correct the vocals so what we gotta do is center the notes and disable the variation now it's gonna sound kind of robotic but it's not that big of a deal if it's some background vocals now if you would do this with like your main vocals i would suggest to have some variation just so it won't sound as robotic you could tell that it's off key by this sound Whoa. when the vibrato comes in so you know it's not the right note now if you need more help you could just google the scale and you're gonna see the exact notes so you know exactly where to place the vocals oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so now that our vocals are corrected, since I can't really do the same thing with Edison to just export it in the timeline or send it to the timeline, I gotta add an Edison and basically record the sound that's coming from Newtone. I don't know how legal this is, but I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Press the recording button, stop the Newtone just so it starts from the beginning and then let it play. Oh. And you're done. Select the region that you want to export, again send it to the playlist and sync it with your old ones if you've done this before so you can actually uh, know where it, where they come just link this one to a new track you know eq it make it actually fit in the mix so i'm gonna just do this real quick oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. and also another trick to actually make it sound more fitting especially because as you can see it starts from nothing like it goes oh. straight into the vocals now, what you could do is just disable the effects, 
render it as it is normally, straight after exporting it from Newtone, render strictly this part. You can actually get rid of Newtone if, you've, if you're done with the vocals. Drag the exported one back in, uh, make sure it's synchronized, or actually it doesn't really matter, just reverse it, link it to a new track, add reverb on it, make like a really long reverb, or not necessarily really long, but like a noticeable amount of reverb. <laughs> Create an automation for the reverb, add a point that's set to zero right before the end, and then make it go up as the, the sound ends. So make it, let's say, something, something like this. <laughs> and you can render this part like strictly, or if you want, you can render the whole thing and just export it, drag the exported one back in, add your main one back in so you could actually do the transition, and now reverse the reversed one that you've just exported, adjust it so it comes right before the main one, and then cut it out. Something like this, maybe you can even add like an automation to make it more smooth. So make it something, I would say, like this. Oh. And enable the effects back in so it sounds more... more blent in. Blend? Is that a word? I don't know. Oh. Um, set this one to the same layer in the mixer just so... Uh, the EQ sounds the same, since that one is just raw with reverb on it. So now let's see how they blend together. I'm the I mean, this is gonna sound different for everyone, because it really depends on your track. Uh, for the most part, if you're gonna do some, some rapping, uh, you gotta make sure that you have enough space for the vocals to come in, for the background vocals. But you could do some, like, singy songs, you know, and just have this as the main vocals. It's really up to you how obvious you want the autotune to be. Because if you're a good singer, you're not gonna do this. Or at least not like this. This is for someone to have fun. Because look at me, I'm, I don't know how to fucking sing, but I still enjoy making music like this. Take it as you wish. But yeah, this is gonna be it with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys managed to learn something from it. Um, quick thing, I've moved all of my drum kits to my selfie page. So if you guys want to support me, you can go on the link in the description. And I'll also release a new drum kit in February, probably at the beginning of February. It's, uh, it's gonna be a nice one. So keep an eye out. But yeah, it was your boy Gonzo and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.